We're now going to take a look at hexadecimal integer representation. Now, hexadecimal is a numeric system of base 16, which means it's made up of 16 individual values that include 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and then the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F. The letters A and F are the equivalent to the numeric values of 10 to 15 consecutively. So, A is equal to 10, B is equal to 11, C is equal to 12, D is equal to 13, E is equal to 14, and F is equal to 15, giving us a total of 16 actual values, as you can see from the table to the right. Each hexadecimal digit has the capacity to represent four binary digits, meaning a single hexadecimal digit represents four bits. This essentially makes the hexadecimal system more human friendly to software developers as opposed to binary code. So when converting hexadecimal to decimal values, the use of base 16 is incorporated with the placement of the hexadecimal numbers equivalent to a specific values. The following table illustrates this base 16 in action. So here is four digits of hexadecimal. So 16 to the power of zero, 16 to the power of one, 16 to the power of two, and 16 to the power of three and what they are equivalent to when they are actually calculated. So 1, 16, 256, and 4,096. Using this table, the digit that appears on the right would correspond with 16 to the power of zero. If this digit is a one, then one would be included as a part of the decimal number. If the value is a B, then 11 will be added as a part of the decimal number. The digit that is second from the right will then be calculated in the same method, aligning with 16 to the power of 1, which equals 16. A hexadecimal digit of A will add 160 to the decimal value as A is equal to 10, making it 10 times 16, equaling 160. This process will continue from right to left for all individual hexadecimal digits. Due to this calculation, the highest possible value for four-digit hexadecimal is FFFF, base 16, which equals the decimal value of 65,535. So let's have a look at a quick example here. If I had the hexadecimal value, 123A, and with a base 16 to represent that it's hexadecimal, we put that in the correct slots underneath the table. So we have 1 times 4,096, plus 2 times 256, plus 3 times 16, plus A times 1, which is essentially 10 times 1. And that ends up equaling the decimal number of 4,666. Now, we will have a later video that will go more into actual calculating hexadecimal to decimal values and vice versa. And just finally, we'll have a look at equivalent values between hexadecimal and decimal. So, 1 in hexadecimal equals 1 in decimal. 1, 0 in hexadecimal, though, equals 16 in decimal, because 1 in the second column is equal to 16, and 0 doesn't activate the 1 column, so that's why it equals 16. 1, 1 in hexadecimal basically has the 16 and the 1 activated, so that equals 17. 1, 0, 0 obviously activates the 16 to the power of 2 byte, Okay, which equals 256. A is equal to 10 in decimal, because that's when it starts becoming double digits. A, B, C basically means we have 10 times 256, we have 11 times 16, and 1 times 12. And then finally, 1, C, 2, F in base 16, okay, and which is just a random combination of letters and numbers together, gives us the value of 7,000. 215. So I hope this has given you a good introduction to basically how hexadecimal works as an integer system. Basically we have 16 values ranging from 0 to 9 and then A to F, okay, giving us a value range from 0 to 15. Based on the placement of a hexadecimal number of a specific actual value, gives it a specific um, value type to align with in base 16, ranging from 1 to 16 to 256 to 4096 which are then all calculated together based on the actual 0 to 15 value to give us a, a quite a large number in this case. So I hope this was an easy introduction to hexadecimal integer representation.